Out of Monday's first presidential debate, Hillary Clinton faced off with Zach Galifianakis in an episode of his Between Two Ferns interview show. Right off the bat, Clinton admitted that sitting down with such an unpredictable interviewer, who often insults his guests or at least tries to make them uncomfortable, may not have been the best idea. Critics have often questioned your decision making, and by you doing this show, I hope it finally lays it to rest, Galifianakis said. Oh, I think it absolutely proves their case, she said. In the interview, Galifianakis asked Clinton if she would do as many anti Trump celebrities have vowed and leave the U.S. if Trump became president. But she declared she'd stay put and try to prevent him from destroying the United States. So you're gonna lead the Civil War? Galifianakis asked. No, I wouldn't take up arms. I think that might be a little extreme, Clinton replied. Galifianakis then pointed out that she told him before the interview began that she wanted to take away everyone's guns. After that remark, Clinton said, I really regret doing this. When the actor later asked Clinton what she'd wear to Monday's debate, she indicated she hadn't decided yet but imagined Trump would probably wear a red power tie. Or a white power tie, Galifianakis shot back. That's even more appropriate, Clinton said. Galifianakis even aired a Trump hat during a commercial break, with Clinton then wondering aloud why he would run a spot for her opponent during their interview. He paid me in steaks, the host replied. I'd be afraid to eat them if I were you, Clinton said. As for Clinton, Galifianakis didn't ask any questions about the private email server scandal that has dogged the candidate throughout her campaign, nor did he ask about recent rumors about her health. The Funny or Die team did touch on the latter, though, by identifying Clinton as someone who had pneumonia in her on-screen ID. But he did ask her some questions that indicated he wasn't quite familiar with the job of Secretary of State, he suggested it was more like an administrative assistant job, or what it would mean to have a 69-year-old woman in the White House. Galifianakis asked, What happens if you become pregnant? Are we going to be stuck with Tim Kaine for nine months? How does this work? I could send you some pamphlets that might help you understand, Clinton advised. President Obama appeared on Between Two Ferns in March of 2014. His appearance, designed to urge young people to sign up for health insurance, went viral and led to a traffic spike for the Obamacare website. Funny or Die was co-created by Will Ferrell, Adam McKay and Chris Hinchy. While Mackay was an ardent Bernie Sanders supporter during the Democratic primary, since Clinton secured the party's nomination, he's indicated he plans to vote for her.